why we wrote about this, as the mother of teenagers, my heart breaks for this family, said Inquirer editor Caroline Washburn. But this suicide took place in a very public place and manner, we needed to explain what happened. And it raises important issues we hope will prompt conversations in families throughout our region. In life, Leela Alcorn felt alone. Born Mel, she feared she would never be the woman she felt like inside. In death, the transgender 17-year-old, born Josh Alcorn, wanted to make sure others never felt the way she did. The only way I will rest in peace is if one day transgender people aren't treated the way I was, they're treated like humans, with valid feelings and human rights, Alcorn wrote in a post on the social media blog site Tumb. My death needs to mean something, she wrote in the post, which she scheduled to appear the day after her death. That plea marked her final public words. On Sunday, just before 2.30 a.m., Alcorn walked four miles from her middle-class Kings Mills neighborhood with its views of Kings Island to Interstate 71. There, she was struck and killed by a tractor trailer. The highway was closed for more than an hour. By Tuesday evening, Leela's story had become a worldwide story, one of how transgender teens often feel alone and afraid. The hashtag hash Leela Alcorn was topping Twitter. News sites worldwide had picked up the story, and someone had even created a Wikipedia page for Alcorn. The State Highway Patrol continues to investigate, no charges have been filed. Her body was sent to the Montgomery County Coroner for an autopsy, which will take several weeks. Alcorn's family declined to comment to the inquirer. In a statement via the King's local school district, the family requested privacy. Alcorn's mother, Carla Woods Alcorn, wrote on Facebook Sunday, My sweet 16-year-old son, Joshua Ryan Alcorn, went home to heaven this morning. He was out for an early morning walk and was hit by a truck. Thank you for the messages and kindness and concern you have sent our way. Please continue to keep us in your prayers. The post has since been taken down. According to the school statement, Alcorn attended King's schools and was most recently enrolled as an 11th grader at the Ohio Virtual Academy, an online school. Joshua Alcorn was a sweet, talented, tender-hearted 17-year-old, the statement from King's read. Counselors will be available when students return from winter break. Before her death, Alcorn scheduled her note to post on her Tumblr blog at 5.30 p.m. The day of her death. A note titled Sorry came later. In it she told her younger brother and sisters she loved them. She thanked her friend Abby Jones for, dealing with my pathetic problems. And she told her mum and dad, you just can't control other people like that. 48 hours after the first note was posted on Tumblr, it had 82,272 views. There are no national statistics about how many transgender people commit suicide, partly because it's not always known. In 2010, the National Center for Transgender Equality and the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force reported 41% of 7,000 transgender people surveyed had attempted suicide. An analysis of the survey responses by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and UCLA Law School's Williams Institute last January showed transgenders who experienced rejection by family and friends, discrimination, victimization or violence have a higher risk of attempting suicide.